Guns were locked and loaded on Bahalia Road as forces from Kapaya County, Brookhaven Police, and Mississippi Highway Patrol worked to get murder suspect Shawan Allen out of a mobile home, who had been on the run since Sunday night. They used a drone and a robot to find him. All of a sudden, we get a tip that he's out here, and he's holed up, and he's been hurt. He's been in two bad wrecks. I mean, really. He, he's, been, he's hurt. He's limped up and everything. So we didn't think there would be that much of a problem taking him into custody. Allen died after opening fire on a deputy striking him. Fortunately, the vest saved the deputy's life. But this is just one piece to a robbery homicide investigation. Allen, along with Jatavius Berry, Adrian Smith, and Justin Anderson, are all suspects in the shooting death of 21-year-old Zaria Newton. She and her boyfriend walked in on the suspects robbing her home. All they had to do was push out of the way. They didn't have to kill her. It just, it don't make any sense. You know, no, these, these two, two big old fellas, they could have just pushed her out of the way and walked out the house. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't have to hurt her. Barry turned himself in Sunday night and Smith was caught at the Jackson Airport and taken back to Brookhaven. We asked Smith if he had any comment while he was being taken into custody. I want to get my name cleared at the mix. Really? Where were you going at the airport? Mississippi Bureau of Investigations is taking over parts of this case, and Barry Smith and Anderson could each face a capital murder charge. The public has got to help us because if we don't work together, we're not going to be able to live safe anywhere, not just Brookhaven. That's anywhere. It's not snitching when you're trying to save somebody's life. Anyone with further details about this case is asked to call Brookhaven Police or Crime Stoppers. In Kapaya County, Linnea Lewis, WJTV 12.